Hey, hello everyone. It's Sean back with you today. Got another tutorial on this three string for you. It is the song Closing Time by Semisonic. And here's a little preview part of the song we're going to play today. As I mentioned, uh, I'm sure if uh, you're familiar with 90s rock, you've heard this song, uh, Closing Time by Semisonic. It's probably been played in a lot of uh, bars and clubs around the world for that matter. But we'll get into the breakdown of this song. Uh, you do need open G tuning on your three string for this one. So make sure that your low string is tuned in G. Middle string is tuned in D. High string is tuned in G. And you really only need to know four chords for this song to play both the verse and chorus. And I'm also going to get into a few other parts of this song, including uh, something you can do in a bridge part where you hear a piano portion in this song. And also there's a small guitar solo near the end that just plays some octaves. I'll kind of show you what uh, octave that's in and what you can do for that part as well. Didn't actually plan on doing uh, this song for a lesson or tutorial on this channel. Just started playing around with it and thought, well, hey, why not? And uh, I am using the uh, Roland Micro Cube. I've got it on the classic rock setting. Uh, kind of show you some settings I got at the end. Not crazy about the tone I've got for this one, but it sounds uh, decently close in the neighborhood. So let's go ahead and get into breaking this song down. Okay, the first thing uh, that you need in this song is actually just an open G chord. So I'll get a little closer, try to adjust the camera so you can see my hands a little better. Okay, for an open G, <clears throat> you know we just need to strum all three strings. We're not barring, pressing any uh, strings, barring to make any chords. Just need to open G. You also need a D chord, which is made by barring all three strings at the seventh fret. You need an A chord in this song, which is made by barring all three strings at the second fret. And also a C chord, which is made by barring all three strings at the fifth fret. And that is the order that you go for both the verse and the chorus. Now, you're going to go from a G to a D to an A to a C. Now, I often use my middle finger a lot to bar chords. It's just a habit I got into. I don't know why, but don't let that confuse you. You need open, seven, two, five. Okay, now, for the rhythm on this song, when you're playing this verse you probably don't want to you probably want to strum maybe about 75 percent of how you normally strum kind of a little lighter and that's the rhythm that i go okay that's how we start out on the g down, 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 up, down, up. Now you're gonna go, when you get to the D, you're actually gonna hit that chord three times. So down, 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 up, down, up on the G. On that D, I went three down strums. Gonna to move to the A, the same rhythm that we did on the G. Then we're going to move to C and hit that three times for down strum. Now, that's how the rhythm goes throughout the verses on this song. So we'll play through it. I'll go a little slower than what I did just then. And a lot of times when I do the G, sometimes I just try to hit that top string. Uh, since we're not strumming at uh, what you normally would 100%, but a little lighter. 
Slower, that's what I should have done. Now we'll go normal speed. the rhythm that you need for the verses in this song. For the chorus, we're going to use the same exact chords, but it involves strumming harder and also some mutes. And to mute your strings, you know that you lightly put your finger, your fingers on the strings to get that sound. We're not pressing to make a chord like that, just lightly resting to mute the strings. So I'll play kind of what the chorus would sound like for this and then break it down for you. So what do we have? We start out with the G once again. We're going to go a, a full strum twice down on the G. Then we're going to rest as I mentioned to mute. You're going to go down up, kind of down up down. Down up down up, I'm sorry. Kind of like if you've ever played the riff to uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit, you know how you have to have that mute down up down up. Just like that, you hear that? Okay, kind of doing the same thing with this song. So, two strums down on a G. Down up, down up, mute. And then on the D, you're gonna do two down strums. So the first part will sound like. Go move to A, two down strums. Down up, down up on the mute. Move to C and gonna do three down strums. Okay, so it'd be like. Let's put it together. You know, so I went through those rotations four times. That's what it does when you hear the chorus of this song. I know who I want to take me home. That portion. You're going through this four times during the chorus. Okay, so G, two, B, D. Then we go to A, B, C. I went down three times on that. So two strums down on G. Down up, down mute. Two strums down on D. A, we're gonna go uh, two strums down. Down up, down up mute. C, we're gonna go three down strums. Now, you've got the verse and the chorus. If you just know these portions to the song, you can basically play through it. So we'll kind of go through a little bit of what the verse would sound like and then break into the chorus. So let's start out with the verse.
the main parts that you need to play this song. Now, little extras that you can throw in with it. You notice uh, there's kind of like a bridge portion that sort of has like a little piano sounding interlude in it. Uh, it kind of sounds something like this. I think I'm pretty close on it. Okay, for that little bridge piano interlude that you hear, uh, here's where we're starting. We're at the seventh fret on the middle string, which is an A note. Then we're moving down to the high string, starting at the fourth fret, which would be a B. Going up to the sixth, that would be your C sharp. Up to the seventh, which would be your D note. Coming back down to six. Back to the four. Then we're going up here on the middle string to uh, the fourth fret. That would be an F sharp note. Then back to that D note we started with on the seventh. Seven, four, six, seven, six, four, four on the middle, seven on the middle. Okay, so I'll go through it kind of slowly and then we'll put it together at normal speed. pinky in there. Let's put it more normal speed. Okay, it goes through that three times in that little piano interlude. Then you hear a guitar solo in this song. And with this particular cigar box guitar that I have, um, it's got a, a piezo pickup in it. It doesn't have a lot of good sustain. So I'll show you the notes that are played on that small solo. It's actually played in octaves. It's not going to sound too great on this, but the notes that you use, I'll use the high string. Here's what it sounds like, and then I'll show you the notes that I used. <laughs> Sounds like that. Basically using a C, of course they use octaves, a D, which is on, I'm sorry, go from the fifth on that C, to the seventh, which is a D, to the ninth, which is an E, to the twelfth, which is a G, for that first part. Then it goes back to the E on the ninth, to the eleventh, which is an F sharp, to the 12th, which is a G, up to the 16th fret, which would actually be a B here. Sounds kind of like that. Yeah, on this one, it sounds better just doing the notes individually like that. If you tried to use octaves to do that, you know that you would uh, start up here at the fifth at your C, Go use the top string and the high string and mute that middle string with your middle finger here. You don't want that middle string to ring out. See if it rings out, that's not an octave. You want it to mute. You just want uh, the low and the high ringing out. Okay, kind of sound this way. rang out with octaves. So that kind of gives you uh, something else you can throw in with this song. That's kind of how the solo part sounds. So you've got the verse, the chorus, kind of come up with a rhythm for that piano interlude, and we got some octaves and uh, notes to use for the guitar solo. So that's got you all set for this song. Just my camera back real quick. Just a quick little lesson I wanted to do today to throw in. I hadn't got to uh, upload any videos in a few weeks, so 
didn't plan on doing this one, but I thought, hey, this don't sound too bad playing around with it, so we'll throw it in. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more videos up in the next few days, try to get at least three or four more up. Uh, if you still like the videos I've got, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you then.